Now for the third shape pentatonic, um, same process as before, so let's move in. Okay, so the example that we're using um, is down here between the 10th and the 12th fret. And, um, and let's go, so 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, 10, 13, 10, 12. One more time. 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 9, 12, 10, 13, 10, 12. With that one, it, well like the others, I'm aware I'm just repeating the, the same thing here, um, but yeah, just like the others, it does seem like there's quite a few different things happening, um, but if we break it down into individual components again, we, we discover that they actually really isn't. We have first finger and third finger going from the 10th to the 12th fret, on four separate occasions, and that's on the sixth string, the fifth string, and the fourth and the first. 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, and then the same down here, 10, 12. And then we have a four fret distance on the third and the second string, so 9. Twelve, ten, thirteen. Nine, twelve, ten, thirteen. Ten, twelve, nine, twelve, ten, thirteen, and ten, twelve. So that's the final one for this particular session. We are later on in the um, probably in about four weeks. We're going to look at the other two shapes and the link in all of those. So then we'll have five pentatonic shapes, which we're also going to turn, using a very simple trick, into major shapes. Which means that we will be able to play um, five minor pentatonics, five major pentatonics in every available key to us. So uh, get busy with that and happy practicing!